Hey everybody, today we're going to be playing some Kepri. Kepri. And we are going to be using default Kepri in celebration of my recent video. Now, this is actually my second attempt at, uh, well, playing Kepri because the first game, I think I actually fought this exact same Bakasura and I was dying in five auto attacks. So I kind of F6 it. I was like, all right, let's, let's try again. Uh, but hey, I mean, let's try this. Let's try again. Why not? I mean, I don't mind uploading losses, but also it's like if I'm just dying in five auto attacks and I only get like one kill, that's not exactly hype now, is it? It's not exactly fun to watch. So I thought, hey, let's record a couple of games and, you know, whichever one goes best, then that's what we'll do. I'm going to go the same start, which is, oh, wait, well, shit, actually meant to get mannequins. <laughs> um, Guilty that was actually fine. As the, the the point is I need to go uh hello. The point is I need to go auto attack Kepri. Also he's gonna invade my red again, most likely. Get red buff to do this. There we go. <laughs> you know the nice part about fighting an opponent uh for a second time in a row is that I know exactly what they're going to do because usually they don't change their play style and I knew he was going to start red. Yeah, I meant to get mannequins, but I actually think the Gilded Arrow will work out for us because all I want to do is I want to get auto attack damage on. Uh, auto attack damage on mine. And Gilded Arrow gives auto attack damage. So, yeah, it's all, it's all good. It's all fine and dandy. But I think what I made a mistake last game was I... I went for two damage items instead of a damage item and then a defense item. Um, or I might even get need to get a defense item before I finish Telkines. So, yeah. I know I'm talking about last game, but you guys haven't seen last game. But, I mean, it was basically I had a good start and then I, I just kept dying to his ultimate. Like, I, I would get body blocked by the minions. It was just super unfortunate. Wow, that didn't hit, really. We want him to uh, back off. I will not kill these minions until he backs off. And only then when he will lose these minions to tower will I actually kill them. Okay, let's go for our blue buff. Okay, he has golden blade. Good to know. Hiding behind minions won't help too much. Uh, but yeah, uh, the big problem was getting body blocked by his minions, and I can't dash out of his ultimate. So, I mean, there's not too much I can really do about that, just other than trying to put myself in a spot where I'm not up against the wall. So that's mostly what I'm going to be trying to do. Let's see. Don't know where he is. I do have enough mana to ult. Gonna save my dash for in case I can pull him in or something like that. Okay, cool. So, I don't know if he's already taken my speed. He's going for his blue, but there's no way I'll make it in time. Did he already take this? No. Never did. Cool. Perfect. We'll just pick this up. No reason not to. Go back to lane. Uh, we don't have that much mana, but I mean, worst case, I can ult. Or I can even pull him into tower. I only had enough for one ability, unfortunately. I could have pulled him, but then I would have died because I couldn't ult as well. Yeah, I, I really want to kill him there, but I, I can't. I can't kill him when he's next to my tower and I only have enough mana for one ability. Which is really unfortunate. However, I might be able to get him here. Oh, I should have ulted for movement speed. I might even still ult for movement speed if he leaps away from me. Yeah, yeah I'm, do I'm doing it. 
There we go. There we go. Yeah, Kepri ult's pretty bad in duel, because most of the time uh, it's not even useful, so ulting for movement speeds, not really a bad idea. The best thing about Kepri ult is probably when they're diving you, but, I mean, they know about Kepri ult. They're not going to dive and then be like, oh, no, he ulted, you know. So using it for positions like that actually isn't bad. Now, I would love to kill those archers, but I also kind of got to go, uh, because if he comes around the corner, I can die super fast. All right, let's get a mid guardian. I usually am not a big mid guardian fan against uh, Boxura, but eh, the health is mostly what's helpful. The health and slowing him down. Let's see. I couldn't even hit him. I couldn't even use my one on him because of the cripple. Like, he would have been dead, but he's not because I, I just couldn't even use my ability. I mean, I, I can't. I physically cannot use my ability in positions like that. So I'm actually going to start leveling up the two, I think. Usually I max the three and then the one on Capri. It depends on who I'm against. I'm against the range god. I'll max the, like, I don't know, max the three or max the one. It really depends. Like, I could probably even max by one this game, but, I mean, I have to cancel the one anyways, otherwise I'll take huge amounts of damage. Like, if I'm against... That's what it is. If I'm against an auto-attack character, I max the three. Against a, like, an ability-based god, then I max the one. Because if I'm holding them in my one, they can't use abilities, and I'm not taking a huge amount of damage. But here, I max the two next, because my one has been not very good. Except here it might... Wow, and he's he's uh, he's gone, dude. He's gone. Like I, I, it doesn't matter. He's so fast. He's so fast. <laughs> he died to wait. He died to something. Uh, I don't actually know what he died to. I guess he went for a buff. <laughs> I couldn't tell which. I don't know which uh which buff that was. I actually didn't see the alert disappeared kind of fast. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Oh, also Emperor's Armor would actually be kind of amazing. Because if he's diving me or if I'm diving him, and then I'll combine with my ultimate. Yeah, Emperor's uh, it might be worth getting both. But at this point, we need to start thinking about Demonic Grip or Polly or Bancrofts or just something. Just more damage. More auto attack, more damage. Ability based Capri only works if you go like full life still. And then pray your opponent doesn't build uh, anti-heal, which unfortunately does not work very often. I actually was tempted to bring him into tower there, but uh, I don't know. Wasn't wasn't ripe for the picking, you know what I mean? Yeah, there I can't even kill him. Even there. Okay. Play it safe. Play it safe. Have my one ready as an escape in case he leaps. Okay, if he does that, that's okay. Okay, I have my ult in four seconds. This is this is a little nutty, but if he leaps, we'll be okay. <laughs> or if he does nothing. If he does nothing, we will be okay. <laughs> yeah, if he leaped at me, I could have uh, do dodged it or ulted or, you know, basically a lot of things. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. That was so funny, though. All right, all right. All right, run, 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 run. Use your tiny legs to run. Or excuse me, don't run. Walk, Kepri. Walk away. Because you can walk. Okay. Uh, he's getting another one of those items. Things. So I guess I'll get one of these. Uh, I don't know what to go. Second relic. An upgraded sprint would be amazing. A blink would be amazing. But I might need something defensive, like a Shell or an Aegis. Ah. Are you just dead again? 
He knows I can't use my one while in the pool. Oh, thank goodness. I was I was really worried he was going to get the leap off before I got my uh, three. But, no, that worked out. Yeah, if he keeps fighting me, I mean, maybe even bees wouldn't be a bad idea. Because if he fights me and that, and my one's up, I can't use it. But if I pop bees, then I could hit him for, I mean, it's a lot of damage. It's like a few hundred. It's not like Ymir damage, but, I mean, it's still damage. Oh, this isn't even up. Bye-bye. Stone cutting? Okay. He got blink. So in that case, I do think I want something more defensive, even if it is a beads. I, but I mean, the nice thing about beads is, again, it can be used offensive. Like, if the if the fight's close, I get beads to use my one. If the fight's bad, I can beads and one, use my one and try to run away. So I think beads is the best option here. Otherwise, it's like a great spirit. both do a decent amount of damage he's lagging all over the place though okay okay might need anti-heal too anti-heal is pretty good against boxer that's his ability down wow he's faster than my two he has so much movement speed, you guys. He's faster than my two. The only way I can kill him is with my, uh, trying to bait him with my ultimate, I think. Yeah, I can't really kill him there. Try to be as careful as humanly possible. I don't know why he suddenly be there. That was strange god i want to kill him so bad but i know i can't uh you know what? i'm gonna go with divine ruin not i mean toxic blades obviously more auto attack based right but i need power i need power to back my bancrofts or excuse me my, my telkines up without power my telkines is useless so that's why we're doing that All right, I'm mean, just kind of put him in the corner. He can't do anything if his leap is down. Let's push. Let's push. 14 seconds. Ah, uh, well, I don't think I can take his Phoenix. Yeah, I, I definitely can't take his Phoenix, but maybe I can get a buff. And if I can't, well, then we're in the same position, except next time his respawn timer will be a little bit shorter. Got executioner okay that's a little bit scary but not a big deal divine rune also the flat pen yeah i got demonic quite frankly because you know i mean i thought he would go shoguns like let's be real i thought he was gonna get some defense and i'd be one step ahead of him but i could have waited on the demonic i could have went divine and then demonic that's kind of the problem with trying to predict your opponent but even if he goes full like full damage. Demonic's not bad because it gives me attack speed for my telekines and it gives me a lot of power. I don't know. It's still okay. It's not bad that I got it and he doesn't have defense. But it's definitely I could have done more. I feel like. Yeah, we just waste his under, waste his ult, disengage. We're fine. Basically the plan for that. All right, now we go into the, the fight again, knowing that his ultimate is down, which means we can do a lot more stuff. Don't want to use our Sunder if his leap's still up, because then he'll just run away. Unless we can just kill him. I mean, let's say he leaped away, I would just ult for move his speed, chase him down, and then I would kill him. But he's so fast, who knows if I could even do that. I don't know why he's, he was holding on to his leap and stuff like that, but I think we do get Phoenix because of that. Uh... 
Let's see. One thing I can do is Kepru that not any other guy can really do. Is just go straight for this and just ult myself. Yeah, dying for this is super worth. If I die for this, it's worth. Also, wasting his time is worth if I can get him to chase me. I can't. I got bad block playing minions. I'm dead either way. <laughs> no, that's worth. I I won't even fret that death because that death means I got Phoenix. We've got now have fire minions. There's no way he can take Phoenix because he ulted me. You know, even if he had his ult up, it would be super difficult. Yeah, no, this is great. Uh, let's save up for Diamond Arrow. It's kind of funny that I went Mannequin's last game against this boxer, and he did beat me, by the way. I'm not trying to hide that. Uh, but this game, I went Gilded Arrow on accident, and it's actually working out a lot better. The attack, when I clear the wave and I get that attack speed, it's actually helping a ton. I don't know. It gives a little bit of health and stuff, I guess. But no, it's, it's, it's super good. There's the defense. All right, cool. Yeah, we need to save a 1,500 gold to upgrade this. I do think if you do decide to play Capri, Madkin's still probably better. But it's just kind of funny how this one worked out. All right, let's see. Where Where is he at? He's still in Fountain. I can poke Titan a little bit, I guess. But that's not very useful. Oh, my ability's down. Or my ultimate, I mean. If he has to sleep, I'm so dead. I need to go back through the middle because... Oh, no. Oh, if I juke that... I could have juked that. Why didn't I do it? The second I heard the leap, I should have immediately 180'd, and then I could have gotten my root and actually gotten away. But the reason I went through here is because there's a higher chance I would meet up with my wave, my fire wave, and have them defend me. Uh, if I went straight this way, I mean, I, th I think it was guaranteed it would have caught me. Unfortunate. I actually had a chance of getting away there. But, I mean, we didn't do too bad. As long as he doesn't get Phoenix, we're good. As long as he doesn't get Phoenix, we're good. That's kind of our measure of success right now. Because if he gets Phoenix, then it's all downhill. It's all it's all bad. He didn't get Shoguns. He's actually getting Genjis. That red buff actually is still up, I think. Oh, look at this attack speed. Beautiful. We can actually go either another defense item or Bancrofts. Or something. I don't know. Or... Just, just anything. Our last item could be a lot of things because we're already at max attack speed, pretty much. Getting speed buffs not a bad idea. If I can't get red, speed is the next best thing just for chasing and running away because he has so much movement speed. And actually, it, it is 15%. They buff speed buff on this map. Uh, I don't want guys attack speed, but 15% is good. I appreciate the the viewers that pointed that out to me because I made a mistake on one of my past full, full game plays because I had forgotten they changed it on this map. Now, getting his Phoenix when I don't have much mana could be difficult. Oh my god, he does so much damage. He does so much damage. Come on, get... Save me fire minions. Okay. Oh, but he has an entire minion wave. But my archers might be able to clutch it. I gotta leave right now. Okay, good. Whew. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're fine. I'm gonna go Bancroft because... I don't know. I just need something to keep me alive and something with high power. Usually Bancroft's bad in the late game, but... Well, I, not bad. It's not bad in the late game. It's just not... The best item in the late game. But because he doesn't have any anti-heal, I think it could be good. I think it could be good here. Either force him into an anti-heal item, or, I mean, just have really good fights at low health. 
I know his ultimate's down. Yep. I don't know if his... He's done that like four times. <laughs> Where uh, he could essentially just leap away and he doesn't. Oh, yeah, this one's the one he already took. I could try going straight for his Phoenix, but without my ult, I think I might get bodied a little bit. Let's see. If I get the attack speed buff from these minions, then we can kill it kind of fast. Yeah, we're good. Going straight for that Phoenix. Good idea. Alright. Let's take this. Pick up blue buffs also not bad. I mean, basically every buff is good for us right now. Because I'm having mana issues. I'm having damage issues. I'm having movement speed issues. So, any buff is a good buff right now. That Ikaval, actually. I want to say that Ikaval helps him, but it kind of doesn't. I have so much attack speed that when my when I have my stacks from Diamond Arrow, I really don't feel the Ikaval at all. Maybe a little bit. Okay, let's get Power Potion. All right, the time is nigh. Next, I think the next like one or two fights are going to determine the game. If I kill him, I think I win. If he kills me, he might take my Phoenix. He might also win the game. We're both late game. This could be it. All right. Don't know where he is. There he is. He has Power Potion as well. He has not changed his build. Alright, we run. We run. We do not want to fight in his ult if it's not necessary. There we go. And now we're... We are set up to, to kill him. His ult is down for a while. And I still have everything. I still have my Sunder. I still have my ult. In fact, I'm about to get another a charge on my... Uh, Sunder. Uh oh, that's a little bad. A little scary. Okay. Use one charge of Sunder there, but he's going to lose a lot of Titan. Okay. Yes! I should have ulted there. That was scary. I backed off because I used my two and I thought the Titan was going to change to me, but I never actually hit him. Uh, and I didn't want to die to Titan. Then I went back in because Titan was so low, and it was a guaranteed win, and we got it. All right, so that was two attempts that I tried with Kepri, and we got the second attempt. It's kind of funny that we went up against the same guy. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I have no you know, no problem saying that, yeah, he did beat me the first time, and it was a slaughter. I have six at like six minutes. But hey, with the going into it the second time, knowing he's starting out by red, it, it does does make a difference. Anyways, appreciate y'all watching. I uh, hope y'all have a good day. And I'll see you guys. See you guys next time. Bye, buddy.